Let me show you guys her win rates real fast. Actually, we'll start the video with her win rates. Fuck it. We'll skip this stupid ass song. We'll look at all ranks so that we can have a bigger sample size. <clears throat> so Nyla has been out for about 24 hours. We've played, I think, seven games of her. We're making this video to share what we've learned so far. Now the stats are showing that you should be maxing Q and then E and then W. And even down here, you'll see that my strategy is bad, but I like E max and then Q second. I'm not really sure why it's lower win rate because Q max kind of sucks. People might not know it, but every time you put your point into Q, you're only empowering the actual spell of the Q, not all the auto attacks after. And you know, the auto attacks are where your damage come from. The empowered Q is not that great. I think at the very minimum, it's gonna be some kind of a mix and match where you put like three points into E and then Q max. Like at the minimum, but in my opinion, I think E max is better. And we'll get into that in the video anyway. I just wanna show you guys the build that I think is best, which is Shield Bow and then Essence Reaver second. And then Infinity Edge third. And then your options for your fourth item are Death Dance, Bloodthirster, Spirit Visage, very similar fourth items to um, Samira, right? Because she has so much healing in her kit, uh, she can, you know, build these items and do well. And then Visage increases the amount of healing, even though it has no games here. I think it's very good too. So that covers her items. Let's go to her rune page. Conqueror is definitely best. It's a no-brainer. Don't run lethal tempo. Conqueror is far better, and we'll show you some uh, combos to stack it up in practice tool here in a moment. As far as your rune, I don't like Bloodline because we're building lifesteal anyway. I recommend Tenacity or Alacrity, and then always run Last Stand because Last Stand plus Shield Bow is really good. When your Shield Bow procs, you're going to be doing a shitload of damage. And then as far as your secondary runes, it's still up in the air. There's lots of options. Personally, I would recommend Revitalize plus one of these three. So Second Wind, Conditioning, or Bone Plating. Uh, Revitalize increases the healing that your champion already has. We've already said she has a bunch of healing in her kit. Um, every support I've played with so far has some weird interaction with Nyla's healing. Which basically means that... Like, I had a pike last night, right? Here's an example for you. I had a pike. The pike would get hit, so he would be getting his gray health. And then he would run into the bush, so he would, the enemy would lose vision of him. And his gray health would heal me. When he was getting healed himself, I would be getting healed. Then I had a Soraka that was healing me, and she was getting herself healed. So Nyla's passive basically means that all healing is completely broken in your lane. So you kind of do want some sort of a support that can heal or shield in any way. So yeah, once again, this is the rune page. You can go tenacity if you need it. Uh, exhaust or summoner heal or barrier, doesn't matter. I think that they're all fine. Like there's arguments that heal and barrier are even better on this champion because of the way that you get extra healing and shielding. But exhaust is always OP because, you know, if you exhaust like a Kiana combo, then you're going to be well off. So, once again, quickly show you the items. We're going to level up to level 3, which means we'll have one point in each ability. And I'll explain why I think Emax is better real fast for you. And let's add some gold. Let's just say that you... So as far as your boots timing, I think, I think there's two options. You either A, rush boots, or B, rush shield bow. Well, I guess there's also option C, where you get tier 1 boots plus noon quiver, and then decide what you want more, the tier 2 boots or the shield bow. Like, you do a mix and match of both at the same time. For me personally, I've been having the most success with Dorn Start into tier 2 boots into the shield bow rush. And then you want to have one point in each ability. So when you put another point in Q, this is what happens. The Q, this whip, goes up by 5 damage base and then 10% AD scaling. 
So the 10% AD scaling is obviously very good. But you want to get more attack damage so that that 10% means more. Because right now we only have 124 AD with one item. But then also this AD ratio goes up based on your crit. So having crit on this champion is very important because you can see it gives you more armor pen on your Q. It gives you more, you heal when you're fighting. So this champion needs to build crit. You can't do like a bruiser build. It won't be very good in my opinion. So if you're looking to theory craft anything, just make sure you're theory crafting around more crit items. And the reason why I think that you should max E is see it goes down by three seconds per point you put in. Whereas this only gives you more damage, right? And your E is your mobility move. So if you build, or if you do Emax, your E's damage also goes up, which can be used to wave clear because it does AOE. But long story short, as far as uh, the champion, she's quoted as a melee. So that stance is good on her because you get 30% reduced damage, right? Instead of 10% like a range, she's quoted as a melee champ. And also Conqueror is good on her because she gets two stacks per auto attack. So if you, you know, Q auto, that's four, six, eight, 10, 12. So you can stack Conqueror very fast. What's up, Johnny? We're just quickly doing a video here for Nyla. So the big combo that you're gonna be looking to do is you're gonna want level six for it and you get more experience from her passive in lane. We're not gonna cover too much about that stuff. You just should read her abilities before you watch this video, in my opinion because I'm not gonna cover every ability and how everything works. I'm just gonna show you the mechanics. So I'm liking the Emax, and it's mainly for this combo right here where you have an ally. Like let's say your support is like a Leona who's positioning to engage or like she's walking out past the wave. You would press E and then W, so your W spreads to your teammate, and then E onto the enemy and then press your Q. So her mechanic is you can press E, Q together just like Samira, and it makes the Q shoot out like this little wave. Right, so see how I got my empowered Q because my Q hit? Normally her Q is this whip animation, but if you combine E and Q together, it will increase your chance to hit the target because you won't, you know, it's not a skill shot anymore. It's like basically a point and click, and it will um, not need an animation. So the time that you're using this animation, you're losing an auto attack, right? But if you do EQ together, then you don't do that animation. So now you can go straight and auto attacking, right? So that also leads to us wanting the max E instead of Q if you're really using this combo a lot. So the way I would do it is you have two charges on your E. You press E onto your teammate, then W, then E onto the enemy, and then Q for the E, and then auto R. So let's, I'll try to slow it down a little bit. So you go E then W, so your teammate gets the buff, then EQ together, so you get the empowered buff, then auto R, right? And that's eight stacks of Conqueror. Now where it gets good and you can instantly stack your Conqueror is when there's two enemies here and you're in bot lane where you're playing a duo lane. So this is your most OP combo. Now you don't need to use W like this. You can use it for after you're already in the fight. You can save it for later in the fight. You can use it for the movement speed to get into the fight. There's a, like the most wiggle room with this with this mechanic is your W. You can use it completely different than how I'm using it here. So for this next example, we're not going to press it at all. Just to show you that it doesn't actually matter for the Conqueror stacking. It's more used as like your defensive or your personal uh, spell. So here's how you would want to do it. You would E onto your teammate or your minion or the enemy minion or whatever as your engage because your engage engage range is really short. So this is going to fix that by having two dashes on a lower cooldown. So you go E, then EQ, auto R, and you're instantly at 12 stacks. And the reason why is because your EQ is giving you twice as many stacks from two enemies. And I'm not sure if your empowered auto gives you two. Let's see. No. So your auto only gives two. Like it's not giving four because I'm hitting two targets, you know? So the reason why I'm getting four from my EQ is because they're stacked together. So this gives eight, right? I'm getting like double benefits and then your R would give you the other four. 
But you get the point. You can very quickly stack Conqueror just like Samira. So if you played any Samira with her fancy combos to stack her ultimate really fast, this will feel very natural to you. If you haven't played Samira, then I recommend coming into Practice Tool and doing exactly these combos so that you will be able to pull them off in your game. All right? So E, EQ, and then you'd want to R, but it's on cooldown. And then as far as your second item, there's lots of options. People like Phantom Dancer, Essence Reaver. I've been doing Essence Reaver. The main benefit to Essence Reaver is it gives you more attack damage and your champion scales on attack damage a lot. You want attack damage, but mainly it's, um, it gives you ability haste. So more ability haste means that my Q duration lasts much longer than my Q spell, my Q cooldown. So see how the cooldown's up and I still had to buff. So it means that you never end up like in this awkward middle stage where you like, let, let me just show you. There's like this awkward middle stage where your Q is running out and your buff is running out too. And if you're like in the middle of an attack animation, you get like this weird normal attack, right? Not the splishy splashy attack. Like it, by having a little bit of ability haste, basically, it just makes a more smooth um, auto Q combo. Like see how my Q is back up, so now I auto Q, you know? Hopefully that makes sense for you. So I never get like the weak, non-empowered auto attack. The small range one, you know? And um, I'm sure like the champion's new, so you might, might want more information about her, but I think if you're looking for more information about her, you should just check out my stream, my live stream. We're gonna be playing her all day. We're gonna be spamming games on Nyla and Sivir. And if both are banned, we're gonna be playing Sivir, or uh, sorry, Zeri. But I think that this main combo is what you really need to practice before you pick this champion. I don't care if you do the E max that I like doing or if you do the Q max or whatever, just make sure that you understand how to stack your Conqueror because this is like the bread and butter of the build. You would, I'll give you one final example before we end it off because this is what I was doing last night before I played the champion try hard in solo queue. We're about to get our shield bow procced. Right now, like watch the healing that we get. It's EQ auto R, and we're full HP. You know, conqueror stacked, instantly full HP. So that's what we'll end, end you off with. If you can get good at doing that EQ auto R combo, you're going to shit on people in team fights, and it'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, thanks for watching. Check out the live stream to see some gameplay, and I'll catch you guys in the Sivir video later today or tomorrow.